Beaver Stadium is located in an area which the natives call Happy Valley. And Alabama are, comes into this game hoping that it will be an unhappy experience for the home team here tonight. Coach Bill Curry, who got off on the winning track a week ago when he derailed Southern Miss 38 to 6. Now we await the arrival of the national champion, Nittany Lions of Penn State. Joe Paterno, who a year ago guided this team to an upset victory of Miami in the Fiesta Bowl and his second national championship. That was a ball control team and tough defensively. Philip Doyle of Alabama to kick off. Penn State won the toss. They did not defer. They elected to receive. They want the ball. We're underway. That is Wilkerson, Gary Wilkerson coming out for the Nittany Lions. And they will put it in play. Pat O'Brien mentioned. Matt Kisner waited patiently behind John Schaefer. Now it's his turn. Key running back is 32 Blair Thomas. This is a tailback oriented team. Sean Redmond, one of the fullbacks to open the way. Great speed outside, more than you're accustomed to with this team. But the rain falling here. Big speed on the outside, round tree. They want to go deep early in this ball game. They come in motion. Kisner to throw on the first play of the game. And the Alabama pressure is equal to the task as penalty flag goes down as we check in on Mike Wolf, who will anchor the Penn State line this year. He is healthy. An excellent guard in Steve Wisniewski. His brother, Leo, played with the Baltimore Colts. Rich Cuzzy on the other side. As usual, outstanding tackles here. And Stan Clayton and Mark Sickler. And the tight end, Paul Pomfret. Powerful, straight-ahead blocker. <laughs> Dick Burleson. It is second and 17. Great throw for the second time, going over to the sideline, and Mike Alexander, Willie Wyatt, who played very well last week against Southern Miss. He'll line up alongside Tommy Cole and Anthony Smith, both quick. Now, the inside linebackers, Willie Shepard and Greg Gilbert, they will be tested by Blair Thomas before this game is over. The strength, perhaps, these two men, Derek Thomas and Randy Rockwell, both quick enough to drop off into pass coverage. So a slot formation for Kisner to the left. This is a third and six. And they run the short man. Starting tailback at Alabama and now is a defensive back. Klaus booms a beautiful punt. Drives jumps to the 20. And hit hard at the 27-yard line. First possession for the Crimson Tide of Alabama and their left-handed quarterback, David Smith. Bobby Humphrey with a hole on the right side. Alabama offense. What about these men? Well, David Smith played awfully poised last week through two touchdown passes. Bobby Humphrey, an All-American candidate. They must get the ball to him as much as they possibly can. They're going to try to throw him some screen passes, Payne with some speed outside. Second and eight. And Kerry Goo checks into the backfield for Alabama. Number 35, a superb runner like Humphrey. Goo comes in motion. And they come straight ahead with the fullback, Bo Wright. And Arrow, what kind of a group is this? Well, I think it's a better group than most people are giving it credit for. We saw three or four of these fine players, Rose and Condon, a year ago in the Sun Bowl when they beat Washington. King was in there. Bentley was a center a year ago and moved to the left tackle spot. They're a fine group. And Howard Cross also played a year ago. He's the tight end. Smith to be tested on third and four. Switch the tight end quickly over to the left side. Off a of fake to Kurt, heavy pressure that time. Not injured, he left because of an equipment problem, so he will certainly be back in the next possession. Chris Moore with the punt. Jim Coates returning it for Penn State and not very far. This is first and ten, second possession for Penn State. We have no score. Ball on the 29. Coates comes in motion. 
Thomas behind the fullback. Swings it outside. And he has finally run out of bounds. And Coates goes in motion. Slips as he turns. Kisner with time going to the sideline and way around three. Because if you slip and fall, your man will be gone. That 17-yard gain put the ball into Alabama territory. And Thomas again comes to the short side. Now the big story is Jelks, who was a tailback a year ago and has switched to the corner on the right side. And the two safeties, Lee Osmond and Kermit Kendrick. Kendrick intercepted three passes in the Sun Bowl on Christmas Day against Chris Chandler in Washington. Kisner to throw on second down. Excellent protection. Goes out of bounds. On third and four, one setback, three wide outs. And he tosses again this time to coach for the first down. Penn State. They are so flexible, they can do a number of things. Don Lindsay can get them into a rush or pass defense, depending on how they're being hurt. But Bama would love to return the favor here tonight. This is a second and eight. Kisner off a play fake to Thomas. Rolls, tries to get away from the oh. linebacker and cannot. Derek yeah. Thomas, 50. Michael Timpson with great speed went in motion. And Kisner slips that time and is wrapped up by Thomas. Hangs it high and Jelks signals for the fair catch. Drops the ball. Jokes fumbles, but there's a penalty flag down. Got interference, no contact, five-yard penalty against the kicking fan. Bobby Humphrey back in the Alabama backfield. Penn State changing its front, going to an off. It is Humphrey. Cutting back in a tremendous hole as he breaks free. Bobby Humphrey loose. They won't catch it. Bobby Humphrey breaks a tackle and carries it in for the evening's first touchdown. What a run. What a tremendous run by Bobby Humphrey. He's not going to be caught. Penalty markers down. On Almost six to oh. Well start. The ball will be put down at the 15. This is a 25-yard extra point attempt, and that snaps the string. 199 straight extra points by Alabama, and they finally have missed. The record started back in 1981. With Bama ahead of Penn State, 6 to nothing. We have 8.20 to go in the opening quarter. Wilkerson. Breaks it. Man. All right, Jim, and here it is six to nothing. Alabama leading Penn State. First and ten, and Blair Thomas is tripped up. Blair Thomas, a junior running back out of Philadelphia. He's 5'11 and 190. We rave about Humphrey, but Thomas is no slouch. That time he is cut off by a hustling Alabama defense here. Well, he is attacking Matt Kisner and Penn State here. This is a third and ten. Kisner with time, but his receivers were covered. Good coverage. Instead of throwing the ball downfield and risking the interception, he ate the ball. I like to see that. Jokes slips at the 18. <laughs> Battles his way out close to the 25. <laughs> On first down, Alabama ran the fullback right straight ahead. It is a second and 10. And Smith rifles a completed pass to the 31-yard line. Third and five. Smith eludes one tackler. Outruns the linebackers. And gets out to the 46-yard line. Where's number 90 was on the field giving chase. This a first and 10. And Smith swinging out. Humphrey couldn't get good footing, but that field is getting slipperier by the minute. I think the advantage is to the offense, the offensive receivers. Second and 15. Smith runs a delay, and Humphrey 
Gets across midfield and steps out of bounds. Oof. You could see Bobby Humphrey. And Jerry Sandusky, his defensive coordinator, makes the best adjustment, adjustments, I think, in college football. They will take away Humphrey if he keeps doing that. Well, they toss it to him this time, and he comes around the left side and is buried four times for 100 yards, including the 73-yard touchdown and another first down for the Crimson Tide. Humphrey behind the right side of that offensive line. Clock ticks inside the 250 mark here in the opening quarter. Now they run the fullback. And here it is third and eight for Alabama. And you can see the toss to Goode who had replaced Humphrey. USA Today had him ranked as the top high school kicker last year. Far enough, cool. he shows you why. That was a terrific hold there by number 19 who made a ter terrific catch because the ball was absolutely low. Bama leading 9-0. Wilkerson at the 9. Bounces off one would-be tackle, creams another one. As he said last night, had great schooling. Sean Borowski, the fullback, moved, and Kisner with a great fake went to Blair Thomas, and there is a penalty marker down. Into the short side of the field. It is coming back. Good blocking up front. They'll come back and do it all over again, and Kisner straight back, mm. under pressure, Strong almost pulls away and cannot. One of the most impressive physical specimens you'll ever see. He's built just like Cornelius Bennett. Time ticking away here in the opening quarter. Alabama dominating here so far. We're coming to the end of the first quarter with our score. Alabama 9 and Penn State nothing. College football on CBS will return after this message and a word from your local stations. of what a lot of teams must do against Lawrence Taylor as Penn State switches quarterbacks and Tom Bill mm. with his first pass incomplete Penn State to punt it away and Bill is hoping that he gets a full series the next time around. Jokes oh, look looking for an alley. He's extremely dangerous at Alabama this spring. Yeah. Mm. Penn State ready. Kerry Goo. Number 35 checks in as his tailback. Off a fake by Smith. Ooh, complete. Ooh. And out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. Now it is first and 10. The ball was put down at the 23. Right, the fullback. And the Alabama interior line. The option play to the right side of the field. Go in motion that way, Coach. Have to give it come inside. back with Humphrey, and he cut back quickly. Boy, is he dangerous. Third and two. Our backfield with both fullbacks. First down, Alabama. Go right. This is first and ten. The ball is on the 12-yard line. The Nittany Lions reeling here in the first half. And penalty flags go down. Ow. Ball start. First Smith keeps it. The ball was down on the floor. A fumble. Penn State recovers their first big break of this game. Well, David Smith went down like a British heavyweight there. John Green, number 20, in at tailback. His first carry to the short side. Close to a first down. So a good replay that shows us why, and another mistake by Penn State. And this is unusual for a Joe Paterno team. Michael Timpson. That's spoken from a former quarterback, Mr. Who Moster. got yanked a lot. Yeah. Ask a coach. <laughs> <laughs> they run the delay with Green. Well, this is a third and 15 for Bill. Deep drop and good time. Yeah. 
incomplete. That was Tepson. This is Green. Hole on the right side, and he battles across midfield. Blair Thomas returns as the Penn State tailback. This is Thomas, hit a medium. Alabama nine, Penn State nothing. This is third and three. Bill rolls as time. Short of the first down, a great defensive play. And again, Penn State must punt here in the first half. Down on the 10 yard line, Penn State's defense will attempt to shut down David Smith right here. Humphrey, and again, tiptoes his way. This is a second and four for Bama. They'll run Humphrey. Eric, as a running back, speaking of speed, Perry Pierre Gould, a world-class sprinter, wearing number two, one of the wideouts for Alabama right now. Smith forced to scramble, can't get away, wrapped up by Pete Kirkendall. Number Alabama attempting to come out from the shadow of its own goal. Still another formation being used by Alabama. And this time it is Humphrey with that toss. Ooh. Turns upfield and is met by Eddie Johnson. But they've got their hands full tonight with Bobby Humphrey. This is third and five. He goes out as a pass receiver in this formation. And Smith comes back to Clay Whitehurst. Bring Whitehurst in motion from the slot. And rolling in that direction, throwing left-handed, and he hits number 86, Angelo Stafford. Stafford a year ago was a tight end. Now they come back with Humphrey and the Penn State defense all over in that time. He played well his first half. This is third and four. Humphrey to throw oh, it. There he is. The option oh. pass. Whitehurst is alone. Out of bounds inside the five-yard line. What a great call that was. He won't outrun you, but he'll get open, and he'll make the catch, and he did that time. First and goal. Power backfield, both fullbacks. Humphrey jumps over the top. They didn't give it to him. Smith keeps it and gets the touchdown. Alabama's second touchdown here in the first half. They're going to go for two points, I believe. And around. Whitehurst. Is wide open Smith to throw a block. Whitehurst throwing oh. it into the end zone complete. He threw it left-handed. Whitehurst <laughs> threw the ball left-handed to number 81, tight end Lamont Russell. How about that play? You'll see here deep in the end zone. You'll see him wide open. Look at him. Number 81 in the end zone back there, waving for the ball. Throw me the ball, Whitehurst. <laughs> shades of Doug Flutie. No, yeah. Shades of Carol your premier, and only he got it further. <laughs> but it's still early in this one. A 17-0 lead by Alabama. Doyle's kickoff fielded at the six-yard line. And Blair Thomas to backup quarterback Tom Bill still directing the Nittany Lions. Matt Kisner shaken up out of the game. Passes on first down, and it's complete to Coach. Coach to the 34-yard line. This is second and one. A slot to the short side for Penn State. And they come back and pound up the middle. College football certainly on the line, isn't it? 17-0, Alabama leading with 2.20 to go. And Bill back to pass. Complete. It was to Coates. He's Bill with a second and three. He stays perfect. Hitting Timpson. In with time, Conley steps outside. The pressure almost intercepted. Under through his receiver, and he came a long way on the other side of the field. They won the draw on second down with Blair Thomas, and the Alabama defense strings him out to the near sideline. The lone setback is Thomas. 
He's got it coming to the short side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mrs. Paterno with him, yeah. Bill back to pass again. Good protection going deep toward Timpson, who dives and is incomplete. But he's that fast. Bill is back down the sideline and oh, yeah. sliding catch by Mike Alexander. Bill has come off the bench to complete six of nine for 65 yards. Going to throw for the tenth time. Oh, to the yeah. end zone. Man open. Touchdown, Penn State. Play round three. <laughs> to attempt the extra point. Dead perfect. Good protection, no one near the quarterback. And as round three gives himself plenty of room for the easy score. That's a good offensive play. State, 17 7, Alabama with the lead. The kick is fielded by the fullback right at the 32 yard line. So this is a big series for the Crimson Tide right now to try to move it down the field. On the fullback into the heart of that Nittany Lion defense. Second down and nine. Smith incomplete. So here is third and nine. Humphrey on the draw. Near the 40 yard line. Gets it off. Coach at the 18. Out of bounds. At the 27, he has great speed on the outside. If he can get someone open here with 12 seconds. They're coming with the end around. And Tempson, there it is. Tempson to midfield. Should have gotten out of bounds. So I think Jamel Holloway got in the end zone four times for Oklahoma and Barry Switzer today. So here it is. Last play of the half. Intercepted by Alabama. They'll go into the locker room with a 17-7 lead. An impressive first half by Alabama, but Penn State comes back, and that sets up a great story in the second half. The Nittany Lions did not trail at the half one time last season en route to their national championship. Here they're down by 10 points. Alabama falls on the ball to 13. Now it is first and 10 for Alabama. We start the second half. Humphrey behind the right side again finds a hole and steps out to the 20 yard line. Six more yards for the Heisman Trophy Canada. Behind right. Short of the first down that time. Third and three. On the power. I a first down. David Castile. Who comes. Smith's first throw of the second half. Dumps it off underneath to a tight end. Number 85, Howard Cross. Second and three. And right bolts free. Inside the 45 yard line. They split the backs on first down. Play fake to Humphrey. Smith throws incomplete. It's about that defense on the other side of the field. This is Humphrey on the short side. He gets everything you can. Humphrey only a junior. The power set in the eye again. And they run Humphrey right straight ahead. And that time it was quickness as the hole opened. You give Humphrey a little breathing room. Bill Condon, the right guard, number 77, wasn't even expected to play this year because of bad knee injury he suffered in the spring. Smith to throw. Under pressure. Down the middle, incomplete. Smith faking the pass, goes to Humphrey on the delay, and he is wrapped up by 73. It's third and 11. He has time again. He throws the swing out here. Complete to his fullback, right, 
who gets inside the 25. And Doyle will attempt a field goal. It's a 41-yarder. He's already hit a 45-yarder here tonight. Freshman slip delivering the ball, and Penn State will take over. 17-7, 9.42 to go in the third. And now Matt Kisner will have an opportunity. Just could not maintain his footing. While he was in there, he was three of four for 35 yards. Motion with Thompson. They run Thomas. And Alabama defense quickly closes up that hole. Could leave a problem there for Alabama. Second and nine. Four man front. Complete to Coates. Coates short of the first down. Strong tackle by mm, Jim. Tough day for the Big Ten, except for Ohio State. Michigan lost big to Notre Dame today. Kisner pulling out, and there's the play, dropping off the screen to Thomas. Great burst of speed. He pulls away from the linebacker. Showed some good speed. Sure did. First and <laughs> ten. Way to go, Tommy Cole. Now Timpson coming in motion. Kisner with protection. Almost intercepted. Threw into double coverage that time. So you had to practice against these defenses. That's why you know so much about it. This is number 32. Thomas squirting through, battling his way for big yardage and another first down. Good looking run that time. Just doing a better job of execution. Isner going long and incomplete. Wanted Mike Alexander. 7.46. You're in the third. Kisner hits Coates out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Was, this is third and eight. The dead ball foul. Ball start on the offense, five yards. You know, donated $150,000 to the library here at Penn State. He's a class coach all the way. Coates coming to motion. Kisner pulling out, and he hits him at the 30-yard line. Now, we'll see him next week against Clemson. So Penn State with Eats attempting the field goal. It's long enough, no good. Eats misses a 47-yard attempt. After they arrived on the scene, the Bear didn't lose a single hat. <laughs> Smith on the pitch this time to Humphrey, and Humphrey breaks one tackle again and gets out close to the 40-yard line. What a difference, huh? A year ago, 23-3. Penn State over Alabama in Alabama. Here tonight, it is 17-7. It has been all Bama. <laughs> Just barely living. <laughs> <laughs> barely a legend. Uh, that too. <laughs> Here's Humphrey, and again he finds daylight across midfield, busts across the 45. He's only a junior. First comes in motion. The left-hander Smith to throw on the run. Incomplete and could have been intercepted. This is second and ten. Swarm all over. Scoreless in the second half. 440 to go in the third quarter. 17-7. Bama over Penn State. Smith. Incomplete. Seven. Moore to punt it away. Short punt off the side of his foot. Colts will let the ball bounce out of bounds. Great point average from Youngwood, Pennsylvania. Congratulations to both as Green. Okay. Steps in behind some blocking. Just one drive away from being very much back in the thick of this one, too. Green trying to struggle for a few extra yards against that Alabama defense. When they get back to play there, they'll use the officials that they normally use. There is Green, and he came in behind a huge block tractor coming in. This is second and three. In and couldn't get a handle on the ball. The lead, Speedy Kalebacks. Third and three. That's Coates in motion. Oh, Kisner from the blind side. <laughs> I bet you it was Derek Thomas. It's Klaus. Won it again. For three years, I think it was John Bruno. Oh, Handled every punt. This is one of the parts of the game. Here it's the return of the Alabama offense. First and 10 at the 41. A 
10 point Bama lead. There's that toss outside to Humphrey. OJ says 45 carries <laughs> later. He came off the field. He said the ball's not heavy. <laughs> I was thinking about that because of our workhorse here tonight, number 26. Third and one with that power eye. David Castile in there to block along with Blake. And Humphrey battles for the yard behind the left side. But the third period has come to an end. Alabama 17, Penn State 7. College football on CBS will return after this message and a word from your local stations. The longest winning streak in college football in jeopardy. 13 straight by Penn State. Alabama leading and we start the final quarter by 10 points. Bobby Humphrey has been Mr. Do-It-All. Finds another gaping hole in that Penn State defense. And remember the Nittany Lions shut him down a year ago in Alabama, but not here tonight. Humphrey spinning again. They'll come with the workhorse. He's sensational, isn't he? Rushed for 207 yards already tonight. This time, they bring the fullback. And that game has some national title implications, certainly for Clemson. They would dearly love to go to the Orange Bowl this year. Humphrey busting a tackle and making another first down. Wright, touchdown Alabama. They bring the short man to fullback. And Bo Wright does the rest. A sensational drive. He did a little bit of everything. Doyle nails the extra point. Now I know that no one is happier than Ray Perkins. To this day, Perkins and Curry remain close friends. That helped Curry get ready for the season. Alabama gives you, you know, the halfback, 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 and all of a sudden the fullback's got the ball awfully quickly, and he's passed your linebackers into the secondary before you even know it. And the tide kicks it off, leading 24-7. The penalty on that. I'll just try to build on it and do some of the same things. A class act, and he's got it going here tonight. To the short man, bobbled near the 30. Brings it out to the 38-yard line. That Martina Navratilova loves to watch football, and she won the women's championship today. Kisner airs it out. Oh. Intercepted. A tremendous catch by John Mangum. What a catch by Mangum. First and ten. The ball on the 19, and Humphrey slips. Already tonight, he has gained 218 yards, and now Humphrey becomes the sixth to rush for more than 200 yards in a game against Penn State. And here he is. He gets all there is out of a hole. He squirts out the other end, doesn't he? One better. He may someday be the greatest running back Alabama's ever turned out. He's that good. Whoops. It slips. <laughs> Got that close to the line of scrimmage. Jim run away with the long count. Coates and Timpson are back. This will be Coates. Great punt. Drove him inside the 25. He slips up at the 22. It's first and 10. And the Alabama defense was ready. Whoop. Kisner off a short drop. Great hammer of Timpson that time by Kendall. Just tell him once, and he'll get the job done for you. This is third and nine. Kisner straight down the middle and deep, and the wide receiver actually ran into the defensive back that time. Boy. Another one off to the yeah. right side, but he gets a good bounce this time. Picked up by Jelks. And Jelks, with a penalty flag down, battles his way to the 39-yard line. That's a dead ball foul. The receiver ran without after giving a fair catch signal a waving signal it's delay of game first and 15. yes but they were an illegal motion <laughs> <laughs> nothing doing that time the series will run another three years alabama not so sure they want to continue with that southeastern conference schedule going to get a lot tougher they're going to be playing seven conference teams soon they run the fullback 
and keep that clock moving as they run right into the center of the defense that time. Larry Rose and Jeff Bentley. They've done a fabulous job here tonight. Daylight again for Humphrey opened by that line, and he simply does the rest. Come up with a play. There they are. Here they come. Came after there. Moore that time. Out of bounds, and the ball will be marked there around the 38-39 yard line. Dr. Thomas felt he was the best person at this time to move the program in the direction that Dr. Thomas wanted to go. And what was that? Well, that was uh, for Jim Tarman. Yesterday, we we're going to talk about some intermittent games throughout the next 10 years. Okay, let's get back to the action now. Thank you. All right, John, thank you. Matt Kisner with a completion to Roundtree, and Roundtree breaks free. Oh, yeah. He scores the second touchdown for Penn State here tonight. Kisner to round three. Still six minutes to go, and they hit for a 60-yard touchdown. And this is something to build on. I think you choice, go, I would go now for the two points, then a touchdown with the extra point field goal would win the ball game for him. They bring Coates in motion. Kisner rolling to the right. Incomplete, and it'll stay at 24-13. Notre Dame down the stretch. You've still got a chance to get yourself in a major bowl. If you're going to lose, lose early and then come back, but don't lose in November. <laughs> Here is Humphrey returning the kickoff. I had to double-check the number just to make sure. We've got 5.58 to go. Lorenzo White at Michigan State against USC. And here tonight, Bobby Humphrey of Alabama. So the race for the Heisman Trophy is on in earnest. Humphrey trying to spin away. Cannot. He was on the offensive staff at Duke for Steve Sloan. Humphrey slipping as he comes to the line of scrimmage and this Penn State defense aroused now. This is third and 17. Penn State aroused on the comeback. Do they have enough time? We're about to find out. Smith going long. Incomplete at midfield. Alabama claiming interference. The official saying no. No question about it. Moore must punt. Inside of five minutes. Here is Coates driven back to the 31. Now Penn State looking for the return and some field position. Out near the 40-yard line here. The idea is to get the ball to Ray Roundtree, let him do something with it. He's done it twice tonight. He's up at the top of your screen. Kisner is looking in his direction. Goes toward him. Incomplete. Kisner gives it to Thomas, who battles his way to the 45-yard line. Third and five. Kisner comes in underneath to the fullback, who fumbles the ball. The ball is recovered by Alabama. Kermit Kendrick comes up with a huge defensive play. Watch what happens here, because Kendrick knocks the ball free. Now, Alabama cannot get possession, and it was Kendrick who actually scrambled after the ball and fell on it for the recovery. Now the clock inside of four minutes, and Alabama content to run the fullback right straight ahead. I said uh, the offensive line of Alabama was underrated coming into this game. Pierre Good checks into the Curry lineup. They use the tailback right straight ahead, working on that clock. Tonight, 3.10 to go, and Alabama closing in on its second win of the season under Bill Curry with Florida. Coming up next for the Crimson Tide. More punt. Gets it off. Coates at the 15. He'll step out of bounds at the one-yard line with two. And they bring Timpson on the end around. He gets to the 30, 29 yard line. It's gonna have to be some sort of crossing route and then let those guys break for a big play. Kisner under pressure throws it out of bounds. But he'd say the same thing and he'd come back and get beat up all over again. Here's Kisner pulling out of coach. First down. Both of the Penn State touchdowns here tonight. Kisner will stop it by throwing it out of bounds on the far sideline. It's like the night game, Mrs. Paterno. She said, I love them. I don't have to cook for 200 people who come over to see Joe afterwards. Larry Thomas racked up. Because I think Coach Curry's probably planning on a light workout tomorrow. <laughs> Kisner under pressure throws incomplete. Called in a first time. 
you'd be setting that onside kick over yeah. on that far sideline right about now, folks. Kisner, good lick delivered on Timpson that time. Oh. And Kisner <laughs> simply slipped as he. Oh, look out. Under pressure, Kisner won't get it off. Number 42, Osmond. Pace by the Alabama defense. Five again. sacks by Alabama tonight. Incomplete. Down, Pat Hayden, any thoughts as to how high they can jump after this effort? Well, I'm not sure who all, who all ahead of them lost, but they'll definitely move up. Intercepted, but there's a penalty flag down. Eligible receiver downfield against the offense. Decline, first down. David Castile on the field to help run out the clock here. Remember, Penn State without any timeouts. So Bobby Humphrey puts his name right into the thick of things for the Heisman Trophy. Forget about him winning as a senior, folks. He'll be a candidate this year if he keeps it up, huh? So the Nittany Lions will regroup. Well, what a win for Bill Curry, huh? Well, that's a great win. Great start at Alabama. Look at Joe Paterno out there shaking hands with the Alabama players and Bill Curry getting a ride off the field here in Happy Valley. 